Hey guys, what's up? So, um, lots of new things have been going on lately. Um, I know that I was asked to do a couple of different types of videos for the uh, Blue Cat Audio Freak Analyst Multi, and this is gonna be the first out of several. Um, I just got a brand new interface. I just got a Studio Live 16.4.2 AI. So I've been kind of like getting situated and kind of figuring out the way that it works. I kind of have one. I basically use uh, the 24 channel and the older 16 channel basically every day at work and every weekend I use a 32 channel one. So I kind of know how it works, but I'm kind of like getting it situated using it as an actual interface. Um, with that all being said, um, I think it sounds pretty good. This is going to be the first time I'm doing a voiceover using its onboard effects and uh, processing. Anyway, so today what I'm talking about is how you could use it to kind of like find where you can make pockets in uh, like a beat and also find where, you know, like if you want to help your vocals stand out a little more, how you could do that. So what we have here is a track that I've used several times before. This is uh, Voices. And what I have here is I've put Freak Analyst Multi on his beat and on his vocal, bus of his vocals. So it basically gets the overall sum of everything. And I also have another instance, basically. I didn't really have another instance, but I routed it differently is I routed the uh, average so I can view them. So if I actually play this, it'll be let me uh, actually get their averages again. But yeah, anyway, because I actually had just moved the average, um, it's kind of taking forever to kind of get up there. So we're not really going to use that for now. But right now what I have is everything set up. Um, I believe there's none of the effects that I used as far as their actual like inserts. Um, the reverbs and stuff will all be on. And then the only thing I kind of left on is I put a trim on it because the beat itself was kind of really, really loud. Um, it was peaking, so I kind of just trimmed it down to get rid of any peaking so I wouldn't distort. Um, all I did is I actually did uh, on my Pro Q2, I did a little bit of a boost on the uh, around 56 hertz. I kind of cut with a 60 octave slope under 30 hertz just because it has a lot of, of a low end, a lot of sub in this beat. It was kind of just given to me a two track. And then I cut a little bit of mud at 155. And then right here at 2000 and uh, 2400, uh, I'm actually cutting with the uh, really cool like little octave slopes so you can kind of make it a flat and then a little peak to notch out um, around 2k, 2 to maybe 3, 2 to 3k. And that's mostly because that's where the vocal kind of like I found was sitting the best. And we can actually show you that right now. If I play the beat, I show the beat out. Okay, so for the most part, you have the uh, music actually playing where you saw it was kind of flattened out. Um, around here is where the, I find the vocals kind of usually stand out the most and can really be heard. And if we actually activate the vocal, uh, let me unsolo this, and we just take a look again. Mask on my face and a bitch in the trunk. Verse 48 and they found a pump. Murder scene full of ripped up guts. Got a witness on. Okay. So this is an instance where there was kind of some room, but if you see right here, um, there's most of the time, there's actually kind of like, seems like it's being dipped here on the vocal, and that's just because of the way it was tracked. Um, and because the uh, beat has so much energy, even though I set the levels properly where now you can kind of hear it, I'm finding that sometimes I'm just not like getting all the detail that I kind of want. So basically what I did was I was taking a listen, and like I said before, I did the average, but then I moved the channel, so I have to wait for it to reset itself. I noticed on the average uh, that we actually had a, uh, quite a small, uh, I'm mean, sorry, we actually had quite a large dip around the 2k area. So what I did is on the actual EQ, I boosted around like 1600 and it kind of like reaches all the way through. And I did a little like a almost 3 dB boost. I cut a lot of these mud areas just because there's really just wasn't much going on there. And then I just did some VMR. Um, I have the free version of VMR. So it has revival, which I used just a little bit to add some high end and a little bit of thickness. And then I used VCC to uh, kind of like just give it a little bit of distortion. Um, then I just did some compression. And this is actually the... Uh, McDSP uh, 6030 Ultimate Compressor. I'm in uh, LA2 mode, in limiter mode, kind of just like hammer down those peaks. I'm not really doing it that heavily, um, even though it kind of looks like I am. If you see from the uh, gain reduction, or the, uh, the uh, makeup gain, I'm really barely doing much. Then I use IVGI from Klanghelm. This is a free saturation plugin. I love using this plugin for really dynamic and natural sounding um, saturation, um, which basically I can do that, and I use it, in uh, actually, if you see in one of my earlier videos, one of my first videos actually, um, I use these uh, the Klanghelm distortion plugins for character and mostly for DSing. Um, 
Then in the other vocal, I'm actually just telephoning it. I'm using the free uh, vintage filter air plugin in Pro Tools to make it kind of like distort. And then I'm, I'm like really just telephoning it. And then I'm putting it into a delay. Um, the third vocal is kind of like I'm using it as the body vocal. I'm giving it some of this like low end and kind of leaving the rest flat and then just cutting out the low lows that I don't need. And this is going to basically add, and I'm doing the same thing that I did, uh, or at least a similar thing that I did with the, uh, with the McDSP limiter um, and the uh, Klanghelm plugin. Then um, if you go here to my bus of my vocal bus, which we, I will show you that it says vocal bus, vocal bus, I'm actually doing a small boost at 2.8K. This again, that area that I was feeling the vocals were really kind of like shining through at. So this is kind of a combination of both hearing and using this plugin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this for you and while it's playing, I'm gonna start turning on everything. I'm gonna actually make this a little bit smaller so that we can actually see everything, all right? So again, you know, if once it starts turning gray like this, that means the plugins are now on, okay? So let's just uh, bypass this and here we go. Mask on my face and a bitch in the trunk. Verse 48 and they found a pump. Murder scene full of ripped up guts. Got a witness on hand seeing they ain't seen nothing. They walk on the crackers ain't catching me. On the midnight meat train beating the fiends. These demons around my body turn my dreams to reality. Hey, clocks talking to me. I made my escape from the chains and restraints. If they put me away, I'll never be tamed. No, I died in vain with the devil on my shoulder and a nose of cane. Eyes roll back, I absorb the pain. Never be the same. You can burn in the flames like the motherfuckers know I meant it, man. With everything I got, click back in vain. Brains exposed like fuck them, no. Kidnap your hoe and Slice her throat, kidnap the kids and sank that boat. Whole family missing, like, where did they go? Scratch came back when they dropped the rose. From the dirt of the church, my body rose. Curse to the place to capture souls. No feeling inside, I'm just that cold. Busting at me, that's your worst mistake. Nothing changed, I'm still renegade with a place to stay in a bed of flames. Offer a sacrifice to burn the remains. Conjure the spirits of the damn to this. I don't give a damn, you ain't saving shit. My mind's so sick, I'm loading clips over crucifix and candlesticks. These blind mask on my face and a bitch in the trunk. Verse 40. Um, I think that should be good enough to kind of see. So one thing is you will notice there's a slight gain difference on one of the vocals, and that's because it's being telephoned, so it has to be compressed um, really heavily. But if you see here, the uh, kind of orangish, dark orange, is the beat. And now, for the most part, there's this little dip here in this area where the vocal originally kind of most of the time had this like slight dip. Now it's kind of just more flattened out. Um, and then right here, you can kind of see around the area where I kind of boosted for the other vocal to kind of kind of give it body. And I find that that kind of added weight to it but without getting muddy because I kind of cut out all of the uh, areas that would have that weight because they were muddy on the first vocal. So this is a cool little process. And um, usually I actually do this by ear and because I've just been doing it for so long like that. But like I found that it was really easy to kind of find the areas uh, this way. I just kind of put it on my bus to see the frequencies that like I felt were standing out. And I usually only do that if I want to listen for some like really, really like intense, like is there something that I find sticks out a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple and it's pretty easy um, to kind of understand like what I did is I took a listen and I took a look of the frequency response. I noticed that there was an area where the vocals are usually the most dominant. I like 2K because that's just for some reason I find vocals kind of just sit a little bit nice there. And I noticed that the beat had a lot of that area kind of covered while the um, vocal didn't. So what I did is I viewed where and I saw like that's where I like it. And I'm noticing that that's where the problem is. So I my mindset was like, all right, so I need to aim to fix that by reducing the area of the beat where it's too uh, prominent and then in turn boosting that same area on the vocals and I think it did a pretty good job let me know what you guys think about this this is this was done really quickly I'm actually going to do uh, more videos about this plugin like it was requested like how to find annoying frequencies and uh, I'm probably going to try to see if I can get some guitars because I know I've recorded some guitars that have had some really annoying uh, resonance and I'll see if I can do a quick little video with that too so hope this helped hope you guys like this later